All right, guys, we're back at Tim's to do another video. Today we have the 2021 Harley Davidson Fat Boy in the gauntlet gray metallic with vivid black. Now, when I was a kid and I would think of Harley Davidson, the Fat Boy is the bike that came to mind. Now, I didn't know the model, but I did remember it from being the bike that they rode in Terminator 2. I think that was a 91 model, but I looked it up and that one sold at auction for $480,000. Luckily, this one is not that much. So let's walk around this bike, talk about what's changed and the pros and cons of the Fat Boy. All right, guys, as a lot of you may have noticed in the B-roll, if you've paid attention to the Fat Boy at all, you'll know that they've been doing that satin, like brushed finish on all of the Fat Boys. They've gone back to the chrome, at least on this particular model, and I think that's a good move. To me, the Fat Boy should be chrome, and I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of chrome, but the Fat Boy should be a chrome motorcycle. So we'll take a quick walk around this bike let you see it in all of its glory. I'm a huge fan of that headlight. Like I mentioned earlier, the Terminator feel, to me it just gives it that, that beefy Terminator type look. Uh, I like that big nacelle, kind of Road King-esque, and I do like the big nacelle headlight set up on the Road King. Harley did a great job with that. You still have the solid wheels. I like these better than the ones they used to do on the Fat Boy with the rivets going around the edge. And there's a lot of guys that would come in the dealership when I was doing sales saying that the wind would catch these wheels and move you all over the road. I've ridden a few of these and I never had that issue. I'm not saying it can't happen and maybe in extremely windy conditions it would, but it was never an issue for me. So that's not something I would sweat too much. I do love this colorway on the Fat Boy. I love the tank badge. We always have to point out the tank badge in these videos because I'm such a stickler for these because I'm not a fan of some of the ones Harley does. Uh, I don't know that I would love that badge on any bike other than the Fat Boy or maybe uh, Heritage. Rest in peace Deluxe, but it would also look good on the Deluxe. You do get the big 114 on this motor as well as an adjustable shock. I love that Harley started doing that because you're gonna get the most out of your bike if you take the two seconds to adjust that shock. They make it really easy with that knob right there. And if you're riding with, say, you know, a rider on the back, it's gonna make a big difference to take a second to dial that shock in for the weight. And with your owner's manual, they're gonna tell you what setting it should be on based on the weight. The Fat Boy is still coming with that big 240 rear tire. I think it looks great. I like that big wide fender and I like that they're filling out that fender with that big tire. Then moving up here to the front, you have a 160 on the front. So you don't, they don't give you that little skinny tire on the front, which would look weird with that big fat back tire, kind of American chopper-ish. I like how wide the forks are too, and that's done to accommodate that wider tire. Kind of gives it that look like the Fat Bob, you know, just a beefier front end, looks more heavy duty. Classic Harley styling up here on the dash. Uh, you get that nice trim piece with the holes cut out. You can see the paint underneath. I like that look. I think that looks good. You do have the analog Speedo and then the rest is digital, just like most models are doing these days. One thing I'm noticing though is I don't see a cruise control option on the Fat Boy, which seems like something that they would have or should have done. Um, I don't see it on this bike. I don't know why they wouldn't, but I don't see that option on there. So I do usually give you guys my personal preferences as far as what I would change on these bikes as they come from factory. Honestly, on the Fat Boy, the only thing I think I may change would be the exhaust. And that's just to open it up, let it breathe, uh, look a little bit better, sound a whole lot better. 
but for the fat boy, for the riding position, you've already got forward controls, which is what fits this bike the best. The seat's not terrible. I haven't put a, a million miles on that seat, but here around town, it seems to be great. Usually not a fan of these bars, but again, on this fat boy, they look good, they feel comfortable. Uh, the wheels, I feel like you're doing a disservice to this bike if you take off the solid wheel. Uh, so I probably wouldn't change that personally. Like I said earlier, I love the headlight. I would probably change out those turn signals, do away with the, the amber covers, do a clear cover with the amber light, put the exhaust, maybe throw a tuner, get it tuned up, and that would be it. So if you're looking for a bike that you don't have to do a ton of things to, this may be a good option for you. Soft tail platform, so it's gonna be really good around town. It's also gonna handle your high wide miles fairly well. So this is a good option to look at. I can't remember the last time that I rode a fat boy, so looking forward to this. I like the cruisers. You know, I like the sporty stuff. I like the big <laughs> I like every Harley. But I like the cruisers too. That's Doc. Apparently he's gonna be in every video now. But yeah, man, I mean, sometimes it's nice to be on the cruiser and just have the wind hit you and be able to see everything and not be changing radio stations or messing with your iPod or however you're getting down. be nice if for just once I could catch the green light and not have to sit here. Like I've mentioned in other videos, I usually try to leave the bike in first and watch these mirrors the whole time. Just I don't trust people to pay attention like they should. And then this lane ends right up here, this right lane. So, uh, yep, see, see, you have cars, you know, flying trying to uh, trying to get around people and this thing is smooth this is a really smooth bike and it's I think the thing for me is this is typically not my style of bike like for me my riding style um, visually what I'm into like the fat boy isn't the first bike that comes to mind yet when I ride one, when I look at one, I'm into it. I think uh, the Fat Boy just has that nostalgic look, at least for me at 33 years old. Like, it was probably the first model that like I can remember that comes to mind when I think about it. We'll try to get on it just a little bit here. It's funny with these 114s, you know, they all the same motor, but the power delivery is different in each platform. Always there when you want it, but the delivery is slightly different. Uh, the Fat Boy, plenty of pep, plenty of get up and go. I think if you had some pipes on this bike, that would be all you needed just to have that sound because sometimes it's funny how your mind works the sound uh, makes you feel like you're going faster or getting up to speed quicker than you really are but I like these forward controls the floorboards feels good forward riding position for your feet doesn't lend itself to like the sportier style of riding as the mid controls but I think that's kind of what makes me enjoy this bike is as soon as I sit on it it makes me feel like I should be cruising and take it easy you know
that never gets old. So I'm trying to decide if I had to pick the fat boy or the heritage. I guess it would depend on if that was my only bike. See with the heritage you get the windshield that does come off uh, quick detach and then you get saddlebags. Saddlebags are big man like no matter where I'm going I usually take things with me whether I need them or not so if I'm on a bike with no bags typically a backpack let's see if we can get on it And don't think, you know, on these videos that, oh, that's all the bike has. As I'll say in every test ride, you know, not my bike. So I'm not going to put it, you know, through its paces, especially being new and not broken in. Anyway, like I was saying, so I normally have a backpack. And most of the time that doesn't bother me. But sometimes it's nice to put your things in the saddlebags and not have to worry about it. Now, if we're talking uh, stock fat boy versus the uh, the heritage I reviewed that we've done the bars, the air ride suspension, the fat spoke wheels, obviously the heritage. But I had a paranoid about this GoPro recording. Uh, did a test ride earlier and it didn't record. Battery wasn't dead. Memory card wasn't full and I definitely hit record so I don't know what happened there but it made me a little paranoid oh, what are we doing see that's what I'm saying folks Always expect people to make the wrong decision. This car in front of me, why would you let them go? They didn't have an arrow. It just, it messes everyone up. I get trying to be nice. I'm all for being nice and being courteous, but you mess everybody up and confuse everyone when you do that. Yeah, I'm still kind of baffled as far as no cruise on this bike, no cruise control. Why would you not do that? Makes no sense to me. Um, also, I wish they would have kept the Deluxe, but I guess the Heritage was close enough to not need to keep it around. We're getting back close to the dealership, so we'll go ahead and wrap this review up. I mean, like I said in the video, this is not a, it's not normally a bike that, that I would be as drawn to as I am. Uh, I do really like the Fat Boy, looks-wise, riding-wise. I mean, I, I can't fault it for anything. I mean, it doesn't have cruise, but that was kind of on Harley. Uh, you can add a windshield if you want, I believe. I'm not sure, honestly. No, let's take that back because that nacelle on the front, uh, that would be tricky based on like the quick detach mounts that I've seen on other windshields, but I don't know who that is. And another guy. But anyway, guys, if you've made it this far, I really, really appreciate you watching the entire video. Um, Please give me a uh, like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not, and I'll catch you guys on the next review. Thanks.